My friend's getting on right now, so he'll join us too. Open your eyes and see. I just woke my roommate. Hello, everybody. This is for the Magnum. This is a let's play of Daisy with Beedove and Spanky I don't have Jesus. any Magnum ammo, just pistol ammo. But I don't Although have the Magnum. This is the updated. Version, so I have shotgun so ammo. It's and... just our names, Ben and Mackenzie. Uh, my friend. Nope, no pistol. My friend Spanky picked the server, and we're gonna hopefully beat up a Brazilian kid. So let's see if we can't get that started. Are you in the street right now? Uh. Are you in the street, Ben? Uh, hey, friendly. I'm gonna kill you. Friendly, friendly. Uh, <laughs> you wanna kill him? <laughs> yes. We have to find a way to do it. We have to like handcuff him and stuff. Which, which one is you? I have more handcuffs. Uh, I think I'm lighting too. Just a second. Is there some some way I can I can add you as friend of the team? Ready, Ben? Yeah. What do you want me to do? Because okay, hank of him, hank of him. I'm not sure if I can. <laughs> what? Seek! <laughs> what, why did you handcuff me? <laughs> Tell him to get on the ground. <laughs> it's a good day to be in hell. Now get on the ground, bitch. <laughs> <laughs> Hold on, I'm lagging. What's going on? <laughs> Ignorance is the best tool, isn't it? Son, I will not kill you if you say nothing at all from now on. Ben, you wanna, we'll say something, bitch. Take my gun. Ben. You know what? You're a really good kid, and I hate to do this, but um, I am going to let you go here. I'll, I'll set you free. Goodbye. Be free. <laughs> Just let it happen, sir. <laughs> Just let it happen, dude. Just let it happen. This is a wiffle bat, so it Just may take it. a few tries. Hmm. Oh. <laughs> Fuck, that hurts. Who's injured? Him. A dead body right now. <laughs> <laughs> there we go. It's still getting off. What All the right, fuck? keep moving up. The fuck? He's dead, Ben. He's totally dead. No. <laughs> no, he's not. Hold on. Holy shit. What? What is it? I have like seven texts from my girlfriend. Oh my gosh. So much work. I, I think it'd be best just to classify her as a friend at this point. <laughs> Why? We hang out all the time and... Hang out, you know. Yeah, but we used to do that I feel too. Like that's kind of girlfriend boyfriend stuff. Hmm. Yeah, but we're also not faggots, and I didn't want to like, <laughs> you know, do romantic stuff with you either. Oh, you do romantic stuff? Can you tell me about it? Not really. I'm not. I'm not really a romantic kind of guy. I know, but I got all, I got all that mushy gushy romantic shit out of the way with Justin. Yuck. <laughs> you blew it on Justin? Yeah, I'm a grown man. <laughs> I know, I know. But I loved her. I, I, <laughs> I know. In my heart, I still love what I, you. What was I supposed to do, dude? It was the first girl it was the first girl that ever liked me and also like had more than half a year to be with me. Did she uh did she initiate it? Um kind of, yeah. Well, I don't know, it was Jastin. I was like, ugh, it's Jastin. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, she has a history and shit. But then, like, she broke up with her boyfriend and then told James about it so that way James would tell me about it because we had been, like... Because I thought she was pretty... Like, I thought she was cool, but I had no interest in her, like... Yeah, I, don't, I'm, I feel like, bad because I don't even think Jastin's that nasty. I just like to make fun of her because it's fun. No, yeah, no, I know, I know, I know. I didn't think she was nasty, obviously. Yeah. I mean, I, I, I kind of thought you might have just because you're into kids. nasty stuff, but you know. <laughs> no, 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 no. I'm actually the least 
nasty person I know, believe it or not. You know who's nasty? Mitchell's nasty. And you remember I was totally into Kim? Heesh. Booth? The German. Oh, yeah. <laughs> no, no, no. Not Booth, gross. <laughs> That's actually I really Kim mean. Heesh. And, Kim, uh, I thought Kim used to be pretty cute yeah, until she got diabetes. She used to be, and now she's like... <laughs> <laughs> Wait, she was cute after diabetes because it made her super skinny. So I was working with Jason and we'd always oh, dick around at work because I thought she was really funny. We'd always chat and shit. And then, and then, um, she broke with her boyfriend, Braden Zobel, gross. And then, <laughs> told James about it in the hopes that I would hear, like, in hopes that James would tell me. So that way, oh shit, zombie. Where are you? So I don't even I know like, where you are, dude. Ask her out. Go back to the road. So that way I'd ask her out, but like, Lord knows that I'm not that kind of person. I, uh... So I didn't ask her out, but I did ask her to hang out with me and Mitch, and Lucas, and Anna, and James, and whatnot, at Mitchell's house. So, she started hanging out there, and she, like, came to hang out with me, because she liked me. And I kind of liked her, but not, like, you know, I just yeah, kind of yeah. thought she was cool and funny. I hung out at Mitchell's a bunch, and then um, one night, uh, she spent the night at Mitchell's for some reason, and I was okay with that, and then everyone was figuring out where they were sleeping, and then, oh, I was like, I'm sleeping on the fucking couch, because it's the most comfortable thing in the house, so mm -hmm. I slept on the couch, and then she's like, yeah, there's nowhere to sleep, so I'm just going to sleep on the couch with you, and it's like, Harmony. She slept on the couch with me and then we made out. No! No! Started dating. <laughs> this is gonna sound super cheesy, but the day that we hung out, or I mean, the day that dropped me off at college and everyone was leaving, she actually was crying right before they left. What a bitch. And that, like, she had cried a bit and then I kind of, like, got. I got some uh, misty eyes because it was really dusty that day, and so I got my eyes. <laughs> I love you, Mick. And then, and then, yeah, and then a couple weeks later, she told me she loved me, and Whoa, that was a new experience. That got really heavy. Yeah, and then. <laughs> and you made out a little more. <laughs> As running, and then you made out a little bit more. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so we broke up after I came back from college, mm -hmm. Christmas, and then I fucking hated her guts. Whoa, you hated her guts? That. Why? Yeah, I, I was really mad at her for the longest time. Why's that? Because I loved her. And then I didn't text her back. I don't know. It's just too much, you know? I know. Even after a year, it's just too much. All the feels, brah. <laughs> it's kind of like when Misty left the group in Pokemon. That was really hard for me. Yeah. Yeah, I agree. That's actually a really good reference. Okay, so you had a story now? And, um, uh, that's when, when, um, it was the first year Anna had been to our school or whatever. In fact, yeah, it was our, my senior year. But she came in as a junior. As who? Wait, the first, first what? It was the first year Anna. Keenan had been to oh. had come to our school, and it was my first time meeting her or whatever, or being in the same class or whatever. Just because I don't really associate with juniors, <laughs> nasty. Right. <laughs> but um. Right. There's scum. Um. Yeah. Before, before her and Lucas were together, I kind of had a small crush on her just because I don't know. She's really she's cute. yeah. She's really cute. Yeah. <laughs> Some would say she's beautiful, even. Not me, though. I'm not going to say that, just because I feel like uh, I'm assuming attachment, and I can't really put myself in that position at this time in my life, because I was there, and it broke me <laughs> for five years. Okay. What happened? <laughs> Nothing. Wait, like, what happened? Uh, in high school, I was nervous as... Or, not nervous, but I had no confidence whatsoever. I uh, I didn't really care what people thought of me, but I don't know. Wait, you know, you girl, girls scare me. I'm on the haystack outside the barn. Okay. Okay. So, anyways, so you thought Anna was cute. Yeah, and I just had a lot of anxiety about girls and stuff in high school. Even now, a little bit, but I'm definitely a lot 
I don't care nearly as much just because I hate life. But, <laughs> um. No. Right. We all do, Ben. Yeah. Kind of weird, huh? Mm hmm. It is weird. But yeah, I've always kind of had a thing. Well, no, not, maybe not, but I've always thought Anna was cool. Not. Right. Oh my gosh. Also, um, it's only related because of Anna, but I felt so bad for her when, like, that one night. It was you, Mitchell, Carly, Lucas, and Anna, and myself in the car. And I felt so bad for Anna because I felt like Lucas was hitting on Carly the entire time. I'm just kind of, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. He, I'm doing I my know, straight face. And we all talk, we've all talked about it. We've all <laughs> talked about it. She just lets it happen. It's weird. Dude, I felt so bad for her. I'm like, I, I kind of, I kind yeah, of appreciate. Puts, like, he puts his hand on her leg. Like, we're talking upper leg. And oh like, my god! Tries to get alone with her. Yeah. Okay, I'm really just. No, it's, yeah, that upsets me for two reasons. One, I can't find you, and two, ah, oh, <laughs> it's like. I mean, I, and like <laughs> even even without the crush thing, I think Anna's really cool. And so no, I, I, I felt like, oh, you poor girl, you're so, such an ass. If Carly, if Carly was willing to let it happen, then I'm disappointed in Carly too, because I know she used to like Lucas, and that's like. What ended up being a thing was her and Lucas, so kind of met all of them for letting it happen. Hey, Ben. Hey. You found me. Yes, I did. Yeah. I don't know. I feel yeah, like, nobody, like... Nobody's really a victim there. I feel like, like you are. I feel like you're a victim, Nick. <laughs> me? I'm the only victim? <laughs> yeah. I'm over it. I know you are, but I'm not. <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's the entire point, really. Maybe someday I'll end up with her. If I don't know, but I don't want you to be with her if you don't want her to be with her, but I just want you to want to be with her. You know what I'm saying? If I could get Carly, dude, she's like the most beautiful girl I've ever met. That's true. So, and she didn't get fat. Just, she didn't get fat shallow. in college, and that is the yeah. most important thing. <laughs> What's weird is that the reason that, like... I, I can totally feel you on the whole Anna thing is because I used to have a huge crush on Anna. We're talking recently, like, back when I broke up with Jason, or more politically correct, when Jason broke up with me, Anna was, like, the only person who talked to me about it. And that's when her and Lucas were going through tr troubles. Go over to her house and we talk about it. When I was, like, breaking up with, or when Jason was breaking up with me, like, and Anna and Lucas were thinking about breaking up, which they've been thinking about breaking up for the past three years, which is why I think you should, they should break up. But anyway, they were thinking about breaking up, so we'd always talk about it, and then, like, I'd spend the night at her house, or we'd, like, drink, so I wouldn't be able to go home, all poisoning. And then, I, uh, where are you, Ben? Where's my nigga at? Ben. What's, or I shouldn't say funny, what's weird is that what happened between me and Jason happened so much faster than when it happened between me and Sierra. Like, me and Jason did everything so fast. Like, we made out, like, the, the, the night before we dated. And I took Sierra out on a couple dates before I kissed her. You kissed her? And I don't even see you, dude. Where are you? I went out the fucking back door. God. Do you went often go out the back door? No, I went door. out the back door. <laughs> I went out the back door. Ben, where are you going? Uh, I stopped pushing D a long time come ago. Come back! Or w. Goodness gracious, come back, Ben. I was searching. Go kill that zombie. Come back, come back, come back, come back, come back. No, no, no. Turn left. Come this way. You see me? Turn to the right. No, turn around. How'd you fuck up? <laughs> I don't want to talk about it. <laughs> you can tell me. I won't judge. <laughs> it's, it's just because, uh, I don't know. It's so stupid. Like, it was stupid that I got caught. I it was stupid I did what I did. It was stupid that anybody gave a shit. Um, I was standing post. And, uh, you have what's called PPE. Turn around. Oh my gosh. Yeah. Oh my gosh. Okay, you have what's called PPE, which is... Wait, Ben, uh, come back. What? You're going the wrong way. Dude, I don't even... I can't even see you. Where? There Where's you are. You? Okay, follow me. Okay, so you have this thing called PPE. Yeah. Or what's it called? It's called PPE. Okay. It's just, uh... How is it? Uh... Proper protective gear, or proper proper protective equipment. Um, so like that's just all your armor and shit. So you got your your gloves, your flak, your Kevlar, and your eye protection. And 
I had my chin buckle undone. I had my eye protection off. And I didn't. I wasn't wearing gloves. And an officer walked on post and caught me. <laughs> and oh, that was like one of the scariest things I've ever been through. Man. <laughs> I honestly fear. Did he like? I fear my seniors more than any member of the Taliban. Whatever. Ben, where'd you go? I uh, just entered the building. What building? Let's get out of here. What are you waiting <laughs> for? On, let's go. go. Come on. <laughs> Keep your dick in your pants and follow me and we'll be okay. Come on. Come on. This way. Yep. No. Nope. Oh, there you go. Yep. Keep. <laughs> I'm going to be honest. I didn't think that having your chin strap undone and your gloves off and your eyewear off was that big of a deal. It wasn't. <laughs> where's the Where's the help <laughs> lady at Walmart? Mom. Because I lost <laughs> I my dad. My mom, yeah. Lost my fucking dad at Walmart. <laughs> And Walmart's fucking huge. Get a hold of the press. I need fucking Dateline NBC. <laughs> I'm lost in Walmart and my mommy is nowhere to be seen. <laughs> I mean, those were those were some pretty meaningful stories and I really appreciate your honesty. Yeah, man. It was my pleasure. I love you. To share those meaningful stories. What? Total. total. I love you, man. Total homo. <laughs>